Hello, hello. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Anybody there? Hello, nobody. Hi, hi, teacher. Hi. Good evening. Hi, Homan. Hi, Christopher. Good evening. Thank you guys for being here. How are you? Uh, I am tired. You are tired? Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah. I think I think everybody is tired today. <laughs> yes, it's like we we need a more more day in the weekend, right? Yes. I hate the Monday. Actually, we need we need at least uh, seven days in the weekend. Yes, that's what we need. That's what we need, right? Oh my lord! Yes, there's a lot to do today. And we're going to study a topic. Welcome, everybody. I know some of you are not available right now. I, I, I was reading the messages in the group, so don't worry, OK? I read your messages. And uh, I haven't answered to you yet, but I have seen the messages, OK? I have seen Adriana mess, Adriana's message. Uh, I don't know who else. Uh, Laura's, I think. Just don't worry, OK? Don't worry, don't worry. I understand, I understand. Guys, the ones that are here, tell me about your weekend. How was your weekend? What did you do? Where did you go? What did you eat? <laughs> tell me, people. Hello. Do, doing nothing. Stay at home. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Why? No, that's not possible. Yeah, we don't have money yet, so <laughs> it is true, right? It's it's the beginning of the month. Oh, actually, the middle of the month. We don't have money. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh -huh. but did you watch anything, a, a movie or a series or or something? The NFL game, and also the super uh, the halftime show. Aye, right, aye, right, that's what awesome. I didn't see any anything. I plan. I was planning to watch the Super Bowl in the in the halftime show, but uh, I fell asleep. I was sleeping. <laughs> I was sleeping at that time. I was tired. That's why. Yes. Is the best is uh, for this day the best is uh, rest all day. <laughs> yeah, of course. That's why I was sleeping the whole day, <laughs> Saturday afternoon and yesterday, sleeping. Yes. <laughs> all right, all right, excellent. Thank you, Christopher. Hello, Gabriel, Antonio. Uh, let me see. Hi, teacher. <clears throat> How are you guys? Welcome. Thank you for being here. What a pleasure. Thank you, teacher. Yes, it's uh, awesome. It's almost, yes. Um, they're more or less. Really? What happened? See, si, como dicen? No, grip, eh, I, have, I have the flu. Oh, yes. Yeah. I have the flu, you can say. Yeah. How? I have the flu. I have the flu. Yes, I have the flu, yes. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that, Gabriel. It's, it's, it's sad and difficult because you have to work and you don't feel comfortable and you're like, the, the, the flu is, is uh, giving you problems, et cetera, et cetera. There are a lot of things that are negative about this. You know, so close to that. Yes, yeah. I know, I know. You should take some medicine. Take some medicine. It might help you. Yes. Take some medicine? Yes. A pill or no? Something to, to yes. calm that down. Yes. <clears throat> For you. Okay. Thank you. Fatima and Pamela, the sisters. See, I told you, I told you, and you just came on time. Like both of you came here on time, the same time, the same time, I mean. You got here, you got here at the same time. That's what I mean. Uh, yes. Yes, at the same time, exactly. 
See, I told you, you are related. <laughs> okay, okay. How are you, ladies? I'm great, teacher. You look happy. You look okay. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> excellent, excellent. What about you, Denise? How are you? I'm fine. fine. You look. You look tired. No, I. I have sick. I am. Uh huh. I am this, sick. I am sick. This um. Within the semana. The weekend on the weekend. On the weekend, yes. You got sick on the week. I'm sorry. Okay, I, I'm sorry, Fatima. Take some medicine. I don't know, a pill or something. Yes. Yes. Or, or drink, drink uh, natural water. I don't know how to call that herbs or something. Yes. All right. Yeah. And antiripal. Sorry. Anti flu. Anti flu. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> It's just uh, antibiotics, right? Antibiotics. Yes. Medicine appeals, right? That's okay. I don't know. All right, Isabel, hello. Thank you for being here. All right. Like, now we got more right. people. We got 10 people. How are you? Hey, he's good. He's good. All right, all right. Uh, Christopher and I are tired today. Yes. We are tired. I'm tired. He's tired. Yes. We've been working the whole day. <clears throat> people i i work the the whole day and i work part of the night so what do you think it's it's difficult yes on on saturday i was dan dancing i don't dance i don't like dancing i hate dancing but on saturday i was dancing because i was here in my house like rest it's like i was happy <laughs> yes all right now that most of you are here uh, we're gonna start. Thank you. Thank you so much for for joining the class today. I look different today, as you see. Yes, I have, I'm trying a new look. Yes. Okay. Let me take attendance. Let me start with Adriana Maria Turcios. I think she's there, but she's driving or still busy. All right. Yes. So this other person disappeared. Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Marmul. Not here yet. Christian Alexander Arevalo Delgado. Christian is not here yet. Christopher Espidia Chipawa. Present teacher. Got you here. Yes, thank you. Fatima Denise Aguilar Marquez. Also, also here. Present teacher. Yes, hello, thank you, thank you. Gabriel Beltran Perez. Present teacher. We got you, we got you, yes, yes. Hector Francisco Morales. He is not here yet. Isabel Hernandez Hernandez. Present. Hello, hello, yes, you are here. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. Isn't here yet. Holman Saul Giron Sanchez. Present. Holman is here. Yes. Hello. Thank you. Laura Yasmin Portillo Andres. I can see her over there. But I think she's busy. Lucy Natalie Juarez de Ramirez. Present teacher. Hi. Hi. Yes, I see you there. Lucy, okay. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes isn't here yet. Nelson Antonio de Rodas Rosales. Let me, uh, let me see who else confirmed here. Hold on. Oh, Laura, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, Nelson, thank you. Oscar Armando Romeo Mendoza is not here yet. Pamela Carolina Guevara. Present. Yes, hello. Roberto Carlos Hernandez. He mentioned that he was uh, driving or something. I'm not really sure. And Rosalina Barado. Yes. Okay, okay, excellent. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate your attendance. Yes. Okay, 
We're gonna start and I need to ask you a question or we need to see something here. And the question is, what do you remember about last week's topics? Topics, all the topics from last week, what do you remember? Guys, what do you remember about last week's topics? Nothing? No, impossible. So what do you remember? Tell me. The product testing. Okay, the product testing. What else? Yes. We were talking about the product testing. Yes, and the and the subject verb agreement. Okay, subject subject verb agreement. Yes, that too. What else? The the branded branded test. Okay, the branded test. Okay, yes, we were also talking about some tests, some types of tests. Yes. What else, people? No more? Okay, don't worry, don't worry. Let me show you here this. Please let me know when you get to see the book or what I am sharing with you. Do you see what I'm sharing with you? Yes. 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 Okay, over here or somewhere over here, there is the topic that we need to... Okay. It's, not, it's not here. I don't remember where, where that is. It's, I think it's, it's um, yes, this one. Have you ever heard about the term focus group? That one. Do you remember what a focus group is? We were talking about this this uh, type of group and how it is done. Do you remember anything about it? Hello. Remember anything? Focus group? Nobody? <clears throat> okay, remember, I was telling you about this. Well, we're gonna go back to the slide and we're gonna see the, the, the question over there, all right, in the slide. Let's go, let's go over there. Let me stop sharing this one. Or let me just change to this one. Here we go. <clears throat> okay, here we are. Tomorrow I will be expecting the, the electronic chocolates, okay? <laughs> send, me, send me a picture of a chocolate at least. <laughs> we cannot share candies through, through, through uh, well, online. You can send me the pictures. Yes, that's okay. <laughs> I'm joking, all right, take it easy. All right, look, we got everything here. This, what is our focus group? That's the question. I'm sorry, I forgot the question mark. What is a focus group, people? Well, I was telling you that a focus group is a group of people, okay? They are, they are brought together for a specific purpose, okay? Yes, to test a product or to test a group of products to see which one is better, all right? Or uh, pretty much they are brought to a place 
And in that place, there is a person who will be guiding them or who will be leading them. This person has a plan already of what he is going to do with the group, okay? Like step one, step two, three, four, five, and so on, okay? This person is the, the leader of the group and everybody in the group is going to do as the leader says, okay? That's a focus group. And of course, they're gonna be doing one specific thing, right? Which is testing a product in this case, okay? That's what a focus group is, okay? Yes. Now, we're going to go back, we're going to go back to the book and we're going to review a little bit about this. Okay, guys, here, this conversation. There are two words there that are more important than the other ones. Or there are two words in there that we need to pay attention to. The words are in addition and the other one is furthermore, all right? Can you tell me what they mean? Can you tell me what they are, what they mean in addition or, or furthermore? What is it? What, they, what are they? What are they? Tell me. Any ideas? In addition. Uh, I think in addition is like, uh, uh, como yes. cuando, uh, en, para agregar. Uh -huh, to add. To, uh -huh, to add. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, okay, okay. Uh, como adición. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. All right. What about furthermore? No? I don't, I don't know. Further. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. This is, this is, uh, how can I tell you this? This is formal formal writing or uh, yeah, pretty much formal writing. We use in addition and we use furthermore in formal writing a lot, okay? And there is a, there is a long list of these words that we can, uh, that we will be looking at, but we're not going to study all of them. We're going to study only four. Furthermore, in addition, besides, and uh, what's the other one? Moreover. Moreover, okay, we're going to study all of them to see how we use them in a sentence and or how they go in paragraphs, because we use these words mostly in paragraphs, okay, yes. So uh, to just uh, make it simple for you guys, furthermore or in addition, they mean además, okay, yes, además, that's what it is. Okay, let me see. Well, I'm going to read the conversation. Some of you are going to read it again, and then we're going to continue with the grammar part down there. Okay, let me read it. It says, have you made any process with the sample selection for the focus group? Sure, Moises. We will have, the, we will have three groups of at least 24 participants to collect accurate results. Will we work with the targeted or random samples? In addition, we need to discuss who will be monitoring each group and the location of each. You're right, because we want to find out the overall perception of the product. We will go, go for a random sample. Furthermore, it's necessary to create a well-designed questionnaire to get the specific information we require. I'll meet Lucas today in the afternoon, so we work on it, okay? Just, uh, Four people or three people, okay? Volunteers to help me read the, the conversation real quick. The volunteers? Hello. Hello? Hello. Okay, we got one. We got two, three, four. Okay, hold on. Okay, let's just see. Let's see. Fatima and Magdaleno, please. You. And then Christopher with, uh, with somebody else, I think. Bye. I start. Yes, go ahead. Have you made any progress with the sample selection for the focus group? 
<coughs> Microphone. Uh, sure, Moises. We will have three groups of at least 24 participants to collect accurate results. We will work with target or random samples. In addition, we need to discuss who will be monitoring each group and the location for each. We lost him. Wait a little, no? I... It seems that like he's having problems with the, with, the, with the internet. Hello, hello. All right. Hello. Sorry, I lost my, my connection. We are here. Yes, I'm here. I my phone uh, switch the co the mobile connection for the Wi-Fi. Oh, okay, I understand. Okay, uh, could I try again? Yes, of course. This the principio. Yes, start over. Hmm. Sí, desde el principio. Yes, yes, please. Okay. Sí. How you made any progress with the sample selection for the focus group? Sure, Moises. We will have three groups of at least 24 participants to collect accurate results. We will work with targeted or random samples. In addition, we need to discuss who will be monitoring each group and the location for each. You're right, because we want because we want to find out the overall perception of the product. We will go for a random sample. Furthermore, it's necessary to create a well-designed questionnaire to get the specific information we require. I'll need I'll meet Lucas today in the afternoon, so, so we work on it. Excellent. Thank you, both of you, for your participation. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate that. Let's continue with, uh, it was Isabella and Christopher, I think, that were raising their hands. Right, and then we... Okay. 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 I, I will be Moses. Okay. <clears throat> Have you made any progress with the sample selection for the focus group? Sure, Moises. We will have three reels for at least 24 participants to collect accurate results. Will we work with targeted or random samples? In addition, we need to discuss who will be monitoring each group and the location of each. You're right, because we want to find out the overall perception of the product. We'll go for a random sample. Furthermore, it's necessary to create a well-designed questionnaire to get the specific information we require. I'll meet Lucas today the, in, the, in, in the afternoon, so we work on it. Okay, okay, very good, very good. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. All right, very good. Uh, let me go here to the presentation and I will show you how we use these words, okay? But now, uh, look at this, transitions of addition. Okay, we're going to take a look at words, at words that we use only to include or add more information. Okay, there are many, many transition words that are for different uses, all right? So today we're going to be concentrating ourselves on, on, on 
transition words that add information or transitions of addition, as you see here. Okay, look at this. What comes to your mind? Hi, look at the picture. What comes to your mind when you see that picture? What comes to your mind or what do you see or what do you understand when you see this, this picture? It says their transition words. Connectors. Okay, connectors, what else? Excellent, excellent, connectors. Thank you, thank you. What else do you get? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Join to, to process. Okay, join two phrases, okay. Join two phrases, connect two phrases or two sentences as, as, as Pullman said. What else, people? What else? Okay, okay. Well, as you can see, as you can see in the picture, there are, there are uh, two blue things and one pink thing, all right? And they are connected. So transition words, they connect, they join, they put together, they bring together a group of sentences or paragraphs, okay? They are connected by these words. That's what we do, okay, transition words. As I said, there are many, there are many transition words. And let me show you the list. Okay, look, this is the list of transition words for addition. Okay, for addition. Remember, addition is when you include more information. Okay. And I have I have a squared, I have squared three of the ones that we're going to be using today. The other ones are for you to see. The list is very long, okay? The list is very long and we're going to concentrate or we're gonna be concentrating on only these, four, these three over here, okay? Yes. It's a lot of information as you can see. It's a lot to see over here. Look, a lot, a lot, a lot. But we're going to be focusing on, furthermore, in addition, and more over. Furthermore, how do you say furthermore in Spanish, everyone? Furthermore. Hello. Además, además. Okay, how do you say in addition in Spanish? In addition, algo así. Okay, okay, okay. And moreover, what about moreover? Moreover, además de eso, algo así. Okay, okay, okay. So basically, these words are the same, okay? Or they are synonyms, synonyms. Furthermore, in addition, moreover, they are synonyms. The other one that we're going to study is not here. The other one is besides. Besides with S. I'm sending that one in the chat, or to the chat, besides. That is the other one that we're going to take a look at later on. This one's not okay, but that doesn't mean they are not important. They are important and we use them. All of them are important and we, we use all of them, okay? Yes, that's how it goes. Let's, let me go over here. Now we're gonna see the definition, the definition for transition words. This is the definition, look. How to use transition words. We're gonna read this, all right, no. Uh, Fatima, help us read, please, this one. These two lines. Addition style transition words are used when you want to continue an argument on a string and eat by adding more points that support your previous ones. Okay, thank you, thank you for reading. 
addition style transition words are used when you want to continue an argument or strengthen it by adding more points that support your previous ones. What is strengthen? Fortalecer, maybe. Yes, Why yes. Make, no, no, no. Make stronger. Make stronger or what Magdaleno said. Okay. Make stronger. Or make firmer or more steady. Okay. Yes. Another one. Uh, Holman, please help us read the transitions here. <clears throat> the translation help you give more ideas to a main idea. All these ideas are pretty much connected. If the transition is process or show an idea that has no relate, relation, to main idea, then the transition word is being used incorrectly. Okay, thank you for reading. Important, uh, well, this is my definition, okay? Look, the transitions help you give more ideas to a main idea, okay? All these idea, ideas are pretty much connected. If the transition expresses or show an idea that has no relation to the main idea, then the transition word is being used in, used with D, okay? Being used incorrectly, yes. That means that when we use furthermore, in addition, moreover, and besides, we need to connect ideas that are related. If the ideas are not related or are different, then we're using the transition words wrongly, okay? Yes, Magdaleno, help us with this part, please. Thank you. The last one, teacher. The last one, exactly. Yes. Okay, transition words like in addition, furthermore, moreover, and besides, add information. Reinforce. Re reinforce ideas. Reforce. Okay, reforce ideas and express agreement with ideas that have been presented. Main, main idea plus transition word plus another idea. Okay, very good, very good. Thank you very much for reading. All right, we got transition words like in addition, furthermore, moreover, and besides add information, reinforce ideas, and express agreement with ideas that have been presented previously, okay? It's what I told you before. Whatever you are adding with in addition, furthermore, moreover, and besides, has to be related to your previous idea or to your main idea. Yes. Now, look, it's over here. Main idea, people, the main idea can be a paragraph. Okay, it can be a paragraph or it can be a group of sentences. It can be a group of sentences or it can be a whole paragraph, okay? Yes, now that's how it goes, okay? Main idea, you write your main idea, then if you want to include more information or you want to support your main idea with more details, transition work and another idea, okay? It says here another, another idea, but it's not like another, another. I mean, another one that is related to this one, okay? Yes. Now, we're going to take a look at some examples and you're going to see how the, pre, the, the main idea or the first idea is connected or has relation with the previous one, okay? Yes, look at these examples. They are very long examples, by the way, as you can see. The first one, look, go, oh, no, no, I'm not going to read them. Can anybody read, please? Dogs are cute. Thank you. Because of their happy faces, their faces are irresistible and brighten up 
our days. In addition, their wagging tails make them look cute. The wagging tail is a sign of happiness and playfulness. Together, the, these two features of dogs make them undeniable cute animals. Undeniably. 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 Cute and, animals. And, and, undeniably. Exactly, exactly. Yes, yes. Okay, look, we are using the transition word. Well, we're using in addition here in this sentence or in this group of sentences. Okay, yes. Let's, let's uh, see the main idea or let's find out what the main idea or which the main idea is. Look, this is the main idea. Dogs are cute because of their happy faces. Okay, we're talking about the face of the dog. And look, we continue talking about faces. Their faces are irresistible and brighten up our days. Then in addition, like we're adding more information. Remember, it has to be related to the previous one. Their wagging, wagging, sorry, their wagging tails make them look cute. And now we're talking about this. We're talking about the dog's tails, all right? Yes. We are, we are still talking about the animals. And now we're talking about another part of the animal. The first part that we mentioned or the first thing that we mentioned was the face. And the second thing that we mentioned was the tail. Are they related? Yes, they are related, okay? Because they are, both are part of an animal. So they are related, all right? The wagging, uh, wagging tail is a sign of happiness and playfulness. Together, these two pictures uh, of dogs make them undeniably cute animals. Do you have any questions about the first example? About the example, no. Maybe about vocabulary. Okay, wait, excuse me. Yes. Okay, I don't understand the, the verb bright up. Brighten up. Oh, brighten. Brighten, 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 brighten up. Yes. Okay, that's a phrase of word that means uh, something or someone makes us happy. Yes. Or that they make our day beautiful. Vuelve. Sorry? Right. Vuelve. Right. No, no, no. Yeah. It's a person or something, an animal or an object, whatever something that makes us happy or that makes our day happy. Yes. Mm, okay. Yes. And wagging? Oh, wagging that's tails. moving. It's moving, moving, move. Yeah. Ah, ah, yes, moving. Okay, next is wagging tails. I don't know what is that. Oh, that one is moving, moving. Wag, wagging tails is moving. It's really? Yes, moving. Wow. <laughs> okay, thank you. Moving tails. And on Danibles, on Danibles, I don't know what Undeniable, 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 mm -hmm. undeniable, undeniable. Yes. Okay. Sin duda, sin duda alguna, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's what it is. Undeniable, sin duda. Undeniable. Okay. Yes. All right, all right. Very good. Let's take a look at the second example down here. Travel is good for expanding the mind. Look, what's the main idea? The main idea? Travel is good. Okay. Then it says there, well, I haven't read it. Travelers get to experience new people, cultures, which and cultures, which can increase knowledge and understanding. So we're talking about traveling, right? And how it helps us increase, increase knowledge and understanding. Okay. Now we're going to continue adding information with the transition work. Remember, it has to be related to the previous one. Moreover, it can help you develop empathy for 
who are different from them, okay? Since they're going to be in a different country, of course, they're gonna face different uh, cultures and different people, all right? So both ideas are correct, all the ideas are connected, all right? Yes. What about this one? Do you have any questions? No? Okay, we're good. What's, what's, many, what's many more, moreover? Moreover means además. In addition means además. Okay. Thank you. And furthermore means además, besides means además. Teacher. I. It's like however. No, no, however is different. However is different. However is a transition word for, for contrast. That's different. It's when you have when you have a positive idea and a negative idea. That's how we use however. Uh, however is sin embargo. Sin embargo, exactly, exactly, exactly. Ah, yeah, I, I okay. am confused. Let's continue taking a look at more examples. Look. Now let's mention more examples. Oh, this one, look. I got this one, the same example as before. The same one, but in this case, I included besides instead of moreover. All right, that means that we can use the same, the same, uh, the same one. Okay, we can change them. Look, her lack of caring about paying her debts has led her to face legal issues with the banks. Furthermore, what look, the idea is this one: her lack of caring about paying her debts. Okay. The woman has not paid her bills or her debts to the bank, okay? And she's facing legal problems with the banks, all right? That is our main idea. The woman is in problems, okay? She's in trouble, very bad trouble, all right? And then furthermore, it says, she's still, she is still getting lots of stuff on credit. Many, many things she will have to spend a few years in prison. Guys, do you think that the ideas are connected or related? Yes, no. Could you repeat the question, teacher? Sorry? Uh, I'm sorry, the question. I don't understood the question. No, do you have any questions or, or, or confusion? I don't know. Oh, no. I don't have. Okay, okay, that's perfect. Okay, fantastic people, don't worry, okay? Very good. There are more examples. This one is uh, a simpler example with, with words that we, we understand better, okay? Let's take a look at them. Look, it says here, Erica did not pass her exam because of her lack of interest. She is always online doing unproductive things such as watching reels or torts. Moreover, she has lost interest in her low drawing lessons. The first thing that we have here is that Erica has not been able to pass her exams. She hasn't passed her exams. That's her first, her first, excuse me, the first idea. Okay, yes, because uh, she doesn't care, right? or she's not interested. And look, we got over here, moreover, she has lost interest in her drawing lessons, okay? That means that she's also having or getting bad grades in her drawing lessons, okay? The ideas are, are connected, okay? And I wrote an example about you guys. Hello, this is about you, okay? Look at it. It says, English Cooperative Students' Internet is lagging unstoppably, unstoppably while being in class since they don't pay the service on time. 
Furthermore, their cameras and microphones in their laptops and desktops are acting up, All right? Let's take a look at the first idea or the main idea. Students' internet is lagging unstoppably, okay? Yes, that's one thing or one issue or, or the main idea. Then it says, there, furthermore, there are cameras and microphones in their laptops and desktops are acting up, okay? The ideas are related. One problem, the internet connection is bad. The other problem, the camera and the microphones are not working adequately. adequately. So two different, uh, uh, two ideas that are related, all right? Yes. Now, do you have any questions? Teacher, when you use each furthermore or made over? Moreover or furthermore? Yes. They are synonyms. They are synonyms. Yes. Although, let me let me tell you this: <laughs> a lot of people, or uh, a lot of uh, how can I say, teachers, say or prefer moreover because they say that moreover is the one that is very or extremely formal. Okay, that doesn't mean that furthermore is not formal. Of course, it's formal. But they say that moreover is the one on top. Okay, yes. You can use them interchangeably with no problems. For example, in this example, you can say moreover, here you can say moreover, their cameras and microphones in their laptops and desktops are acting up. Or you can say in addition, in addition, their cameras and microphones in their laptops and desktops are acting up. And even you can use besides. Besides, their cameras and microphones in their laptops and desktops are acting up. Yes. All right. Yes. More questions? Um. <clears throat> Hello. No. Teacher. Hi. About about vocabulary what yes. is lack lag guys does anybody know what lag is lag is a fair that is a famous word that a lot of uh, internet users use especially gamers lag is when the internet connection is giving you a lot of problems okay okay yes an example can be when you are playing, uh, it's like I said, it's for gamers, but we can use it for other things, of course. We can use it because it's a, it's a word that is out there that you can use. But we can say, we can say, hey, I cannot play right now because my internet is lagging. Yes. It means that my internet is having a lot of bad problems okay, or connection problems. All right. Okay. Yes. And in in the in the other example, yes. when it says her lack of interest, what is lack? Lack deficit. Falta de interest. Uh, yes. Okay. Deficit. Yes, deficit. Okay. Thank you. All right. We got it. Okay. Very good. Very good. There is one thing I haven't mentioned here. It's about punctuation. As you see, you have it like this. You stop the idea, the first idea with the period, then you start the other idea with moreover. You can change this, you, can, you have another option or other options. And the other option would be like this one. Let me show you, I'm gonna write it down, down here. Here, okay, the first one, Erica. Okay, look, that's the first thing here we got here, the first idea. Erica didn't pass her exam because of her lack of interest. She is always online. 
doing and or shorts just that. or shorts you can use this you can use a semicolon semicolon is this one sorry no this one that's a semicolon all right yes semicolon in spanish punto y coma all right you you have this other option you can write it like the one that we have up there okay you can say more period moreover or you can say semicolon moreover comma she has lost interest in interest in is missing in the first example. Interest in her drawing lessons. Okay. So for punctuation, you have two, two choices or two options. You can use the first one or the second one. Both are correct. Okay. Both are correct. It doesn't matter which one you use. You can say puntito, moreover, comma, or you can say punti, comma, moreover, comma. All right. That's your decision, okay? Yes. Now, do you have any questions? No, that's okay, that's okay. Did all drawings. Okay, here we go. Look, I need your help. This teacher Mauricio needs your help. He needs you to, to provide him with as many examples as possible using the following transition words. Furthermore, moreover, besides, and in addition. There's another one. You might see it. You might see it somewhere, but it's this one in addition, in addition to, okay? It's similar to in addition. All right, guys. Can you give me an example or try to give me examples using these words? Can you try? Sure. <clears throat> yes. I will try. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> the forest is very important for the weather. Um, in addition, it's very important for protect the river. In the in the in the in the country in, no mm -hmm. in the country in the town in the in the town. All right, all right. Yes, yes. The example is perfect. It's correct. Yes. Thank you very much for that. All right, all right. Sure. Yes. I have one more. Okay. Um. Um. Maybe my car. My car. My car need motor oil and furthermore need gasoline. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Okay, yes, yes. Ideas are related. You need oil and you need gas for the same thing, for the same object, the car. Okay, okay. Excellent, excellent. Very good, very good, very good. Okay, anybody else? Let's continue practicing. No, okay. I think we're gonna we're gonna do it differently. What if I give? What if I gave you? I gave you a couple of minutes to write one down. You can use whatever you want or whichever one you want. Furthermore, moreover, besides, in addition or in addition to, I will give you a couple of minutes and you write it down. Okay. I know it, this one requires requires uh, a lot of sentences. Yes. Okay. So let's let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. Yes. Let's work on that. Try to give me one, one of them. Yes. Okay. If you want, I can go back to the to the examples. So you can look at one and you can try to see if you can do it like that. Okay, there you go. Yes, this one's. Okay. Very good. I need to drink some water. Can you give me a second or a minute? <clears throat> 
Let me get the water. I have to go outside. Okay, I'm back, I'm back. I apologize. That was fast. Okay, let me know whenever you're ready, okay? I'm here, I'm ready to listen to you guys. Guys, are you ready? Let me know when you are ready, because I am ready. Who is not ready? Everybody is then. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's start. Let's start. We're gonna start. A little bit more time, teacher. Sorry. A little more time. A little bit. Okay. Okay. We're going to choose Hector later on. Okay. Yes. Right now, I need a very beautiful person to read. Nobody. 
No, Paris beautiful. <laughs> okay. All right, I need an ugly person now. No, no, right. Okay, okay, okay. Very good, very good. It's okay, people. Don't worry, don't worry. All right. Let's just start with Holman. Holman, please. Example. Uh, in my in my day off, I I I have to wash my my clothes. In addition, I I have to I have to clean my bedroom. Okay, okay, all right, all right. Yes, the ideas are connected, the ideas are the same. I mean, they talk about one single topic, okay? Yes. Excellent, thank you, Holman, for that. Uh, let me continue here with Lucy, did you finish? Sorry, teacher, I didn't. You haven't? No. You need more time, that's okay. It's okay, it's okay. All right. Let me continue with somebody else. And let me try with Ivan. Ivan? Not yet, teacher. Not yet, okay, okay. Uh, Christopher is ready. Yes. His last name is ready. Yes. <laughs> there you go, there you go, excellent. Well, my boss has participate in several projects of trademark, uh, trademark and corporate consulting for local and international corporations. Furthermore, she has recognized by many international rankings for her experience in the area. Fantastic, fantastic, yes. All right, all right, very good, very good. Thank you, Christopher, for your participation. Yes, all right. Thank you, thank you. People, let, let's continue with, uh, well, Hector said, Hector was ready, so Hector. You were raising your hand. Yes, teacher. Okay, <clears throat> yeah. One of the more important activity is the medicine. Moreover, it's expensive to study. Come again, please. Okay. Uh, one of the more important activities is the medicine. Moreover, okay. medicine. 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 Yeah, uh -huh. it like you study doctor. Oh, or, medicine. Medicine. Huh? medicine. Medicine. Mother, moreover, it's expensive to study. Okay. Moreover, it is expensive to study. Yes. It is. It it is. It is. It is necessary. It, yeah. Okay. <laughs> expensive. And you mentioned something before. More, more, most important. You said, or more important. More ah. Uh, it's more. Uh, most. No, I, I, I write more, but it's, it's most. No, no yeah, more, yeah, more. Yeah, yeah. It's more, more, more is okay, more is okay. Yes. More is okay. Yes, okay. It is, it is, yes. Thank you, thank you. All right. Let me continue with Pam Pamela. Go ahead, please. Mm, my example is we, we have to start working on the new project. Furthermore, we have to present the results of the last one. Wow, no good, right? Yes. Well, the example is good. I mean, the situation is not good. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, because you have to uh, pre uh, finish one project and present the other one. Ah, yes. Okay. Yes. yes. The ideas are connected fantastically. Thank you very much for your participation. Yes. Uh, let's try with Isabel. Help us, please. Help us by sharing your example. Well, he's not there. He He's probably eating or something. I don't know. <laughs> Taking a break. Magdaleno, help us, please. By sharing your example. Uh, okay, example, right. <laughs> well, so Excuse me, teacher, <laughs> and everybody. Okay, my example could be um, uh, my factory is is the better in this country, and then okay. Oh no! 
I'm so sorry. Uh, my, I, said, I said you, my factory is the better in this country. And furthermore, and the, in America, right? Okay, okay. All right, all right. It is invented. It's, a, it's okay, it's okay. Yes, it's fine, it's fine. Thank you very much for, for uh, your participation, Madaleno. Uh, Fatima? No, yet, teacher. Okay, you haven't finished yet. Don't worry, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah. Let me continue here with uh, Elivaldo. Hello. No, okay. He's not there. Roberto? I have a sentence. Okay. Um, I don't like the traffic in San Salvador. Uh, moreover, moreover, uh, I late for the job. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. All right. The ideas are, are related, all right? I hate traffic in the Salvador, but I don't like traffic in the Salvador. Moreover, I I get late to work. Yes. I hate traffic too, people. It's it's tedious, it's tedious. All right, let's continue. Gabriel, did you finish? Do you have an example? Okay, teacher, no sé si estoy tan correcto también. Mm -hmm. um, si lo entendí bien. Uh, for example, I put the table hard as a result he feel. Um, the result you said. My brother is nice. Invitado, ¿cómo se dice? Sorry. Invit, me, me invitó, me invitó, ¿cómo se dice? My brother invited me. Invited me justo, used to dinner yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, um, más o menos, dice, no, no, me está costando entender esto. Ok, ok, it's ok, no problem, ok, don't worry, don't worry about it. We're going to re reinforce it later on. Okay, you can stay and you can, we can reinforce it with you. It's okay, it's okay. All right, uh, we're going to continue with another person. Okay, let me see, let me see. Uh, I don't know who is, is available or not. Uh, let me see. Oh, Isabel is back. Okay, Isabel, hi. Hi, I, I can try. We're calling you on. Yes, go ahead. Okay. Uh, my boss is an old man. Uh, furthermore, is a very smart man, but sometimes uh, a little bit hungry and okay. call us the attention. Okay, okay. Uh, more, moreover, I write at the work at 6 a.m. every day. Okay. And, and gave gave us a uh, soda every Monday. In addition, is a great person. All right. As a, as, as a boss. Okay. He's a great person as a boss. Okay. Yes, your example is fantastic. You use all of them in the sentence. It's okay, it's okay. You use them in the way that they are supposed to be used, okay? Yes, that was correct. Thank you very much, Sabel, for that. Let me continue. We're missing. We're missing a few people. Ivan, Lucy hasn't finished yet. Fatima is also uh, working on it. Kisan is not available. Oscar, I don't know. Yes. Teacher. Hi. The the sentence. Um, for example, I can I use I like basketball. Furthermore, I like soccer too. Mm, two is not necessary. Okay. Because you already sorry, I you... like yes. Oh, okay, because you mentioned furthermore, and then they are yes. 
repeating themselves. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yes, yes. It can be something short too, people. It can be something short. You can join two sentences. It's okay. It's okay. Yes, it's fine. It's perfect. I love Dragon Ball Z. I love Dragon Ball Z. Furthermore, I love One Piece. You can say, for example. Okay, are something. Yes. Okay. Uh, let me see. Fatima. Hi. Ivan. Hello. Ladies first, huh? <laughs> No. My teacher, I don't know. Last weekend, I'm eat a pizza in the afternoon. In addition to, I'm eat a hamburger down dinner. No. Can you please read it again? In addition, is correct. Is correct. In addition to, in that case, no. The two is not necessary. Uh, in addition, I eat a hamburger in the I dinner. Eight. Eight. Eight is, is the past form. Eat in the chat. Eat an eight. So repeat the example, please. Come again. Yes. And last weekend, I eat a pizza in the afternoon. In no, addition, I ate. Oh. I... Last weekend, I ate a pizza in the afternoon. In addition, I ate a hamburger than dinner in the dinner in dinner i ate okay not not i am ate i ate like that in the chat in both the first one and the second one okay. thank you fatima yes the examples are correct you ate pizza and then you ate hamburger both things are are related all right let me see ivan are you done ready The day was very cool in the morning. For mm -hmm. the I my boss is a. Uh, 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 idea. <laughs> mm -hmm. You say in the morning the weather is very cold or was very cold. The weather. Uh huh. For the mores, um, uh, one woman, teacher. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Hello, ready? Hello, Roberto. Uh, I have a sentence. Okay. Uh, you are a you are a good teacher. Furthermore, you speak English very well. Okay, both both sentences are correct. All right. Yes, yes, and they are connected perfectly. Yes. Okay, both ideas. Excellent, excellent, and thank you for what you said. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, apparently we lost uh, Ivan. We don't know what happened. It's probably the connection. It's like it's global or national. The connection in my in my neighborhood or my area is also lagging a lot. It's been like that since last mm -hmm. week. And uh, it's probably because of the wind. You know, it's very windy, mm -hmm. and that's why it's giving us giving us a lot of problems. Okay, I completely understand. Right, it's just something that we cannot control. All right, now we're going to continue and we're going to take a look at what the book says about, about these things or about these transition words. Look, uh, this is what the book says. We already read this definition back there in the presentation. Okay, how to use transitions of addition. Like I said, we have many transitions, okay? Many transitions. I don't have a picture here to show you. I would like to have one. Yes, I told you, Layla. Oh, wait, wait. 
I cannot have, okay, look, I can't be in class, he says. Look at the example in the chat. I can't be in class because I am not at home. In addition, I have problems with connection. Uh, although we're missing the, the, the punctuation over there, but the example is, is good. All right, look, uh, let me repeat this. Transition words are like in addition, furthermore, moreover, and besides, add information, reinforce ideas, and express agreement with ideas that have been previously presented. Okay. Yes. In the sentence, will we work with targeted or random samples? In addition, we need to discuss who will be hosting each group and the location of each. Yes. Furthermore, it's necessary to create a well-designed questionnaire to get the specific information we require. All these ideas are connected. All of them are connected, all right? Yes. And uh, look at this, punctuation here, look. Punctuation, notice that the transitions in addition and furthermore in A and B are preceded by a question mark and a, query, and a period and followed by a comma, but that doesn't, that does not really uh, uh, something important, okay? Yes. Then it says over here, in the sentence, in order to select a focus group to test a product, it's important to gather a group of participants who make direct use or direct use of the final product or service. Moreover, it is necessary to choose a moderator for every group. Okay, yes. Okay, look. In C, the transition, moreover, is preceded by a semicolon and followed by a comma, but that's not really uh, important, all right? Oh, even it says here, look. The decision to separate the two ideas with a period or question mark plus transition or with a semicolon plus a transition is a matter of personal style. So that means we can do it the way we want to, all right? We can do it with a semicolon or with the period. It's your style and your decision. All right? Yes. Very good. Do you have any questions now? If you don't, it's okay. We're going to continue to part five. No, okay, moving on. Part number five. People look at it, look at this. Write a 10-line paragraph about the advantages and disadvantages or disadvantages of implementing a focus group to a test product. Use the transition of addition and the following advantages and disadvantages below, all right? So basically the paragraph is going to be about, okay, look, write a 10 line paragraph. So everything you write is going to be about the advantages or disadvantages of implementing a focus group when you are testing or when you want to test a product. You're going to use furthermore, moreover, besides, and in addition, whenever possible. And you have to take a look or pay attention to the advantages that we have here, sorry, here, and the disadvantages that we have up here, all right? The idea or the activity is going to be individual, all right? Do you have any questions? No? You have a lot to do. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, Sorry. Uh, yeah. I have a question. Mm -hmm. And the the advantage and disadvantages are the the que están acá. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. You are going to you are going to take into consideration these disadvantages and this this disadvantages, okay? You're going to take into consideration all of this, okay? The positive things and the negative things, okay? Yes, look. Uh, use the transitions of addition and the following advantages and disadvantages, okay? Guys, let's get to this right now. Let's get to this. Let's do this. 
it's gonna take a couple of minutes, it's okay. Don't worry, don't worry. We have plenty of time. <clears throat>
Let me know if you have any questions. Teacher is inexpensive, no es inexpensive. 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 Yes. And inexpensive means uh, equal. No, no, inexpensive. Or, okay. Inexpensive, yes. Teacher, in the in the advantages, the last one it says accurate and on based or on based opinions. I don't really remember the pronunciation of this word. Unbiased. I think it is unbiased. Means uh, when you're partial or not. Like when you're okay. objective or subjective, yes. Imparcial, parcial, yes. Okay, okay, this case, this case, Imparcial, yes, all right. I think it's un unbiased, yes. Let me look it up. It, teacher, I don't understand. Words, stereotypes. Stereotypes. Es el equipo, pero... Yes. O sea, no, 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 no entiendo esa, esa palabra con... Uh, and enough, stereotypes, it means it means that the, the the people that they have selected are not different. They are like uh, pretty much the same people. I mean, they, they think alike. They have the same ideas. Uh, that's what is in this case. That's what it means. Like they don't have enough people that think differently, you know, or that can uh, think of different more, or more ideas. That's what it is in this case. Stereotype. Mm -hmm. Different peoples and different uh, ideas. Exactly, right? exactly. Like, like different people, like uh, people that like, uh, how can I tell you this? People that like art, people that like painting, people that like dancing, you know, different people from different areas. That's what it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I got it. Yes, I'm biased. That's what it is. I wasn't wrong. I'm biased. Teacher, what is the pronunciation for um, ba variety? Variety. No? Variety. Variety. Yes. Okay. Relatively, relatively inexpensive. Okay. Super cheap. Yes. Accurate and unbiased opinions.
<coughs> Guys, are we ready? Or are you ready? Who is ready? It's about time to start. If you want to, I want to start. That is fantastic. Okay. Okay. Using a focus group for test a product have three disadvantages. We can mention what it is relative, relatively inexpensive inexpensive. In addition, we could have variety of opinions from them, from them. But this group have, have uh, disadvantages too. With, with, with them, we don't have enough stereotypes in the selected audience. And and furthermore, and furthermore, we don't have, we don't, we can't considering that the participants are part of the target languages. It's just that. No, it's, it's just that and it's good. It's good. All right. Yes. Thank, yeah. you. Thank you for, for uh, sharing your participation. <clears throat> Is there anybody else that would like to share right now? Okay, Christian, thank you. Christopher, sorry. Bye bye. Yes. Don't worry, don't worry. Let me open. Okay. 
Okay. Advantages of disadvantages of focus group. The product testing is important to have insight about the customer and how to do product can be impact in the market. And it's necessary to take some action to have real information. One of them is the focus group. Some advantages are relatively inexpensive, accurate and on basis opinion, and we can have variety of opinions. Furthermore, it's necessary to have a, moder a moderator who knows everything about the new product and, and, and they have an expertise that all participants contributed, contribute with their ideas. But there are some disadvantages like not enough stereotype in the selective audience, not considering that the participants are part of the target language and dominant personality within the, within the group. In addition, this can take a lot of time to process the appropriate information to make business decisions to continue with the development of the product or not. Okay, okay, excellent, excellent, fantastic, fantastic, very good, very good. Well done, well done. All right, we're going to continue. And of course, I'm going to ask for another volunteer. Stage is yours. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Who is not ready yet? Teacher, <clears throat> I just, I just, <clears throat> I just. Yes. <laughs> I just have a part. <laughs> okay, you haven't finished. No, just a part. I, I only have the apprentices oh. okay just that for you the can share, don't worry oh well for me it's very important to implement a focus group mm -hmm. because we can have a variety of opinions in addition occurring and implicit opinions uh Moreover, is relatively inexpensive. Okay, 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 okay. You got it, you got it. Thank you very much for, for sharing. All right, anybody else there that can share? Okay, Hector, apparently Hector is ready to share. Okay, Hector, let's do this. Uh, advantage. Advantage. Can they, can, advent, what? Advantage. advantage. <laughs> advantage can take best option with the information or collector moreover collect many information in short time can group many people who have many no knowledge knowledge a lot of knowledge knowledge uh, many uh, for for conocimiento i don't know a lot of a lot of knowledge yes knowledge, knowledge. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> in addition, uh, could you could be used for many products. Disadvantage could be expensive uh, because uh, because use many many people. Mm. Moreover, it's necessary to take a minimum condition for do it. Um, it's important use a uh, professional prof personal for do it. Moreover, it's used only for a short time. Okay, okay, okay. Hector, uh, Hector got it, Hector got it. Excellent, Hector, thank you very much for your participation. Now we're going to continue. I'm going to continue and I need more volunteers, yes. Hello. Hey, hey, teacher. Okay. You are a brave woman. All right. Pamela, yes, we hear you. Okay. Uh, when you implement a focus group, you have to know some disadvantages of doing it. One of them is not considering that the participants are part of the target language. Furthermore, you have to consider 
that the dominant, you have to consider the dominant personality within the group, but not is bad at all. There are some advantages too. Focus group are relatively inexpensive. Moreover, you can get accurate and unbased unbi opinions. Unbiased. Unbiased, unbiased opinions. Bias. All right, all right, Pamela. Excellent, excellent. Thank you for sharing. Thank you so much for that. Your opinion and your participation was incredible. All right, let's continue. We're missing a lot of people. Okay. Yes. And uh, well, the stage is, is the stage is yours, people, to take. So another volunteer. No, no more volunteers? That's okay, that's okay. I'm going to choose people then. I'm going to choose you. All right, let's see if... Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, Denise, you got it? You finished? Yeah. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Go ahead, share with us, please. Thanks. We realize a focus group for some product we need in consideration what this tool is relatively inexpensive and we have a variety of opinion. In addition, accurate and unbiased, unbiased. Opinion, unbiased opinions. Unbiased. But unbiased. Unbiased opinions. But we also have to be careful because we can have problems like insufficient stereotypes in the select audience. Moreover, not considering that the participants are a part of the target language or dominant personality between the group. Okay, okay, yes. Everybody has got it, yes. Excellent, excellent. Thank you very much for sharing. Let me share with you uh, the pronunciation of the word unbiased is unbiased, all right? But I'm going to share it with you in the way you can see the symbols and you can reach your own conclusion and you can pronounce it the way you see it there. Hold on, it's frozen. It's, it's frozen. in the chat. You can go to the chat, you will see it there. Yes. Unbiased, that's what it, what it is. I mis misspelled it, sorry. It's a, it's a I, I A, all right, I A. There you go. Unbiased, okay, <clears throat> very good. Let's continue sharing. Excellent, thank you, thank you for sharing, Fatima. Excellent. Let's see, we're missing Gabriel, uh, uh, Isabel, we're missing Roberto, Lucy. We are missing Ivan. Yes. Guys, we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. Hello. Okay, let me see them. Robert, are you ready? Go ahead. Um, one, one of the advantage of having a focus group is that we can listen to all members of the group about product testing. Mm -hmm. um, Furthermore, furthermore is member has the opportunity to share their opinion. And the disadvantage is that in many cases, the opinion of a group leader is worth more than that, that of others. Furthermore, this 
is not liked by some. By some. Okay. Okay, Roberto, thank you very much for sharing your your example, your paragraph. Thank you, thank you so much for your participation. Let's continue here with uh, Isabel, hello. Okay, he's not, I don't see him, I don't see him. Gabriel, hello. Okay, hi teacher. Um, for me, teacher, advantage. Mm -hmm. um, the datos that clear, the clear, como dice datos? Data or data. Data, data clear. Um, Bo body language or observation, mm -hmm. low cost, emotional connection, this mm -hmm. advantage, advantages, the advantages, mm -hmm. by consuming analysis, mm -hmm. the participant are okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. That's it. Hallados. Sorry. The the ventajas the participan callados como se dice. Ah. Shy. The participants shy are to to give information, to give information, uh -huh. the difficulty engaging a large group, algo así como dificultad para involucrarlos a todos. Okay. Difficulties in involving everybody into the activity. Oh. Oh. Solamente. Okay, okay. Uh, Gabriel, thank you very much for sharing. Me, teacher. Hi, Lucy. Yes. Thank you, thank you. One of the advantages for, for a focus group uh, can be the shipper line analysis for answers. However, confers insights obtained through other qualitative methodologies. And one of the disadvantages disproportionate speaking time. Okay, okay, Lucy, thank you very much for sharing your activity, okay? Excellent, excellent, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's continue with the other person here, uh, Isabel, hello. Ivan. Oscar is still having problems. Antonio is not available. And Ivaldo, we don't know what happened to Ivaldo. So Isabel is not here. Okay, okay. Guys, now, excellent. Thank you very much, everybody, for your participation. All of you did a very good job. Yes. Now, we're going to continue and we're going to practice examples. And we're gonna, gonna be choosing, we're gonna be choosing uh, some transition words here. All right, let me go real quick to this part. Okay, let me know when you get to see the presentation or what I'm sharing with you. Do you see what I'm sharing with you? Yes. yes. Okay, let's look at the first one. We have many, many words here, but we're going to choose the one that we think is correct. All right, look at the example. I'm going to read the example and you can help me choose an answer. Let's go. Johnny Pacheco has a creative talent as a composer. Space, owing to, now that, though, moreover, in addition to, he is a successful map arranger, sorry, manager, I heard that, I read manager. Which one do you think is the answer? A, B, C, or A, B, C, D, or E?
All we had. Sorry. More over. Okay, more over. Owing to no, because it, the, the meaning is different. Now that doesn't make any sense. Though, in addition to? In addition, in addition, yes. But in addition to no. Ah, okay. Yes. The thing is that we, in addition to, we need another object here. Okay. Yes. So it doesn't go like that. Moreover is the best choice over here. So let's choose moreover. Moreover, it has been selected. Teacher, excuse me. Uh, what is you said uh, in indiction two? I don't understand your uh, uh, your explication. Okay. Okay. Look. Yeah. Let me help you with an example in the chat. No. 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 Here, I'm going to write it here. I can do this. I can have a space here. <laughs> okay. Look. Look at this. Uh, I don't like the a lot of I don't like a lot of vegetables. For me, they are they taste what taste less. Or their flavor isn't good for me. Okay. Yes. I personally hate tomatoes. Okay, look, we have finished the first idea, all right? It says there, I personally hate tomatoes. Look, in, in addition, I hate or I dislike, dislike the onion in every dish, okay? In addition, I dislike the onion in every dish. Let's write the same example up to this part here. And we're going to compare, all right, look. Now, in addition, okay, here, in addition, in this case is además. In addition to además de, all right? Yes. Look, I don't like vegetables, a lot of vegetables, sorry. For me, they are tasteless or they, their, their favor, flavor isn't good for me. I personally hate tomatoes. In addition to tomatoes, además de los tomates, I dislike the onion in every dish. Okay, yes. Do you understand the difference now? Sí, and the, and the second paragraph is uh, como como adicionar algo, algo que ya, que no nos gusta o que estamos en desacuerdo. Oh, exactly. ¿Verdad? It's, it's basically the same, okay? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. Very good. Very good. We got examples. There. I'm going to leave them there, okay? Look, number two. How long, ha, how long you've been using tobacco? Tobacco. You can still overcome your addiction to smoking. Guys, what can be the answer here? Regarding how long you've been, although you how long you've been, no matter how long you've been, uh, no, no, and even though. Teacher. Yes. No matter. Yes. This one is no matter, no matter. Uh, even though, even though we didn't see this one, we didn't see how to use no matter. No matter is the answer in this exercise. Okay. Yes, that's the one over there. There are. There's another one here. Let's see if that one has. No, it doesn't have the words that we were using. This one does. Number five. Number five. Look at it. He. 
should not have used office office properly property sorry space he out or not he out not to have been in the building at all outside the office hours people look we got a b c d and e what is the answer here in this one what do you think Mm -hmm. Guys, I think for furthermore. Furthermore, yes, furthermore, exactly. Like, look, he should not have used the office property. Okay, it means that person used the property of the office without probably without permission. Out to out to is the same as should, no difference. Okay, in meaning, it's the same thing. Okay. We do not use auto in the negative form. I don't really understand why they're using the negative form here, but it is not really correct to use it in the negative form. So this is should not, okay? He should not have been in the building at all outside the, this, the office hours. So furthermore, is the one correct over here. Let me check down here the answers to see which if we got it correct. Okay, look, we, we answered number five. Number five was, up here look we don't have a sad face so it means that it was correct the sad face means incorrect look we got it correct and up here we did number two as well we got it correct no matter and the other one the first one this one more over okay yes i know in this topic is a little difficult to understand like i told you or like i mentioned at the beginning this is formal writing formal writing yes do you have any questions questions guys no questions no, yes. i don't have okay it's fine it's fine let me just find the, the, the attendance list over here the person that is going to stay today is I think she already knows. Hold on, my computer is acting up. Uh, let me get there. Mm -hmm. Still loading. Okay. Let me update this. Adriana Maria Turcios. Ana Carolina, this person didn't show up, or hasn't shown up in a while. Carlos Elivaldo Abrego. Christian Alexander Arevalo. Christian was there. Christopher okay. Spidia Chipawa. Present teacher. Fátima Denise Aguilar. Present teacher. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Present teacher. Héctor Francisco Morales. Present teacher. Yes. Isabel Hernández Hernández. Present. Iván Petrovich Guzmán Aquino. Present. Uh, Holman Saúl Girón. Present. Laura Yasmín Portillo. Lucy Natalie Juarez. Present. Yes, Lucy, it is your turn to stay. Hi. All right. Let's continue. Uh, Magdalena Escalante Orantes. Nelson Antonio Rodas. Present, teacher. Present. Yes. Oscar Ramando Romero. Pamela Carolina Molina Guevara. Present. Roberto Carlos Hernández. Present. Present. And Rosalina, who didn't show up today. She was not here. All right. Guys, 
Yes, yes, I read your messages. Thank you very much for confirming through through the chat. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, if there are no questions, we're free to go. All right. I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Take care. Have a good night and sleep well, please. Okay. Yes. And if you're hungry, eat something and go to sleep. All right. People, thank you very thank much. You. Yes. See Have you tomorrow. Good night. Thank, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take care, everybody. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Lucy. Hi, teacher. Uh, we still have a, one person here, but I don't know what happened to him. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, we are here. You have a couple of minutes to see if you can clarify any questions or confusion that you might have about the topics or, or yes. the classes or previous classes, okay? Yes, tell me. Um, yeah, yes, I want to clarify or um, let when when to to the topic we can when we study start the study today about the um, the words that complement in the sentence like um, furthermore. Mm -hmm. And that kind of words, I, I think I need to be practiced more yeah. for understand yeah. the meaning. Like, like and like, what examples and what example I can use it. Okay. These these ones are called transition words. Okay. Ah, and transition words. Correct. They are, they, are, they are words, they are words we use to write formal paragraphs, okay? Okay. Let me tell you in Spanish, se usan estas cosas, se usan para escribir cosas formales, o documentos formales. Sí. Okay. Sí. Uh, there are many of them, son muchos, okay? But in the book, in the book we have in addition, besides, furthermore, and moreover, okay? Yes. Some books, some books mention that moreover is really, really, or extremely formal in comparison yes. to the other three. Yes. Okay. The, 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 that 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 thing I will tell I want to tell you because it's the first time I see that word moreover. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. I understand. I understand. It's not oh. too usual uh, in in the. In the common dialogues, um, it's not too usual to see that that word. The one that is usual is plus. Uh -huh. That or uh, we can say uh, plus. Besides, it's also very common. Besides, but, uh -huh. but furthermore, furthermore, and moreover, are not really are really. Uh, uh, I. I saw the in, in some of the conversation and furthermore I, I saw that word that they, mm -hmm. they, they can use it but moreover um no I I can see that what is the use of that word okay moreover yes I can give you one example mm -hmm. how, how it goes yes uh let me see one more example real quick real quick real quick okay COVID COVID uh, uh -huh. 19 wrote uh no gave life a different a new meaning mm -hmm. we went through a lot of health problems people Died. Mm -hmm. Got infected. 
people went to jail, right? And the uh, people stayed in their homes, oh. houses, mm -hmm. houses, all right? Okay, that's one thing. Moreover, the ah, okay. economy, the economy became one of the weak points. It's like a, you can have a, a another another point or another um, como otro aspecto, otro otro tema adicional del que ya se había estado conversando. Exactly, exactly. Yes, yes. Okay. Mm. Not you think that like all of them, all of them are related, okay? The economy. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Uh -huh, because economy is part of the COVID right now. But right. but it's not it's not the it, it's not about to the people problems that people die, people got infected. Is is a like a other? Not not other necessarily. It can topic. be. It, it can be. Oops! What did I do? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. What happened? We can do it like that too, or no problem, no problem. Okay, moreover, we can say, <laughs> let me see. This we got pretty much everything there in the in the in the in the yes. In the first thing, in the first thing, we have everything. People died, people got infected, and people went to jail. Yeah. People stay in their houses. What else can we write? <laughs> 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 Okay, let me let me erase this. And uh, over here, look. And people went to jail, right? Let me write more over over here. Because more over is like like not related to these negatives. More over, there you go. Ah, okay. People stay in their houses. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now it looks better. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I understand the point for okay. for the well, that example. Or you can use furthermore, no problem. Mm. Both are correct. Mm. Or you can use in addition. Or or you can use besides. Okay. Todas, todas, todas quedarían bien en en la en la oración o en de paro. Okay. Como le comenté, solo algunos libros dicen que que moreover es mucho más formal, casi no se. Más formal. Como usted dijo, casi no se ve esta palabra moreover ni furthermore. Porque son palabras muy formales que se utilizan en documentos bien, bien formales. Mm, sí, es como que nosotros comúnmente en un diálogo no los vamos a usar así muy fácilmente, ¿verdad? Exacto, exacto. Exactly, yes. mm, ok. Thank you so much for your time. Yes, it's not a problem. Yes. Uh, by the way, I've been asking a lot of you guys. I don't know if you have any, any ideas or an activity that you would like me to include. Uh, I have I have included uh, listening, reading. We have written a lot. Yes, mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know if you want me if you would like me to to include one specific activity or I don't know. Yes, you can include me. No, no, I mean you like it. Ah, yes, you, uh, yes. Like so for example, in my case, I want to practice more speaking. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Esa es la razón del por qué a veces yo trato de participar un poco más, ¿verdad? Pero a veces me cuesta un poquito. Mm -hmm. eh, pero sí, este, trato de siempre participar. Mm -hmm. Como yes, en la yes. conversación. Okay, I understand, I understand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. I'm going, to, I'm going to try to include la speaking activities, okay? Thank you, thank yes. you. Yes. All right, Lucy, a pleasure. Okay. Thank you very much for staying. I will see you. It's my pleasure too. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye bye. Bye.